So uh, we can have um, this one, which is in here I put three carbon atoms on the left side instead of two. And I put two on the left side. So this can be an isomer of this ester. we can have one more which will be Okay, so let me just display the CS3. I forgot to display the CS3. Yeah, so you can see that we have four different isomers of an ester with the same molecular formula. You can also make branched isomers of each isomers and you can then make stereo isomers of each isomers. So you can see that it keeps going endlessly. So I am not doing that for you because now you know the skills, you have the skills to do it on your own. So the general formula as you can see for an ester is CnH2NO2, the general formula for an ester. And if you remember, this was the case for carboxylic acids as well. So this means that you can have functional group isomerism in esters. So in case of functional group isomers, there, will, uh, there can be carboxylic acids as well. So you can make even more esters now. So instead of the COO group, what you'll have is the CO2H group. So you can see the whole lot of esters you can have for the same molecular formula. The whole lot of esters and carboxylic acids you can have for the same molecular formula. So this is all about esterification. And now we are going to move further. So hydrolysis of esters, so hydrolysis as you know is again the breakdown using water, breakdown of uh, compounds using water. So what happens is that there are two types of hydrolysis, acid hydrolysis and alkaline hydrolysis. Both have the same conditions, heat, however the reagents are aqueous acid in the case of, uh, in the case of acid hydrolysis and aqueous alkali in the case of alkaline hydrolysis which is obvious, quite obvious. So um, in acid hydrolysis, uh, it's quite simple actually. You get uh, you get um, the ca the carboxylic acid plus alcohol back. So you reacted these two to form uh, to form the ester, and then this uh, this reacts with water in the presence of an acid to form back the carboxylic acid and the alcohol. So basically, the opposite of esterification. This reaction. However, in the alkaline hydrolysis. Even though we get the same alcohol, like in this case we got the same alcohol that formed the ester, even in this case we get the same alcohol that formed the ester, but instead of the carboxylic acid, we get a salt of the carboxylic acid because we are using NaOH. So, uh, so this Na bonds with the carboxylate ion, the Na plus ion bonds with the carboxylate ion to give sodium ethanoate in this case. So we get a salt of the carboxylic acid instead of the carboxylic acid. So this is the difference between acid hydrolysis and alkaline hydrolysis of esters. So we are done with this chapter alcohols, esters and carboxylic acids. It's very easy as you can see. You just need to learn a couple of reactions and you will be done. So keep practicing. You can practice papers at gcguide.org. The link is in the description and you can email me your doubts at a level chemistry free at gmail.com the email id is also in the description so uh, keep revising keep practicing and stay tuned thank you for watching